Hey, my name's Chris. I'm the developer of JSFX Pro, and uh, I wanted to tell you about some of the features. So if you've used uh, sfxer.me, you'll know that uh, JSFXer is a sound effects generator. And uh, I wanted to show you some of the features of the Pro version that I've been working on. So the, the basic use of SF, JSFXer is um, you can click these generators over here and uh, create these different sounds. Um, and then you could tweak them using the sliders to uh, change, yeah, different aspects of how the sounds sound. Um, the pro version uh, of, but, well, both the free version and the pro version allow unrestricted commercial use of the sounds in your games and game jams. So that's the first thing to note. Uh, the second thing is on the pro version, I've updated the UI so that it's got this like pixel aesthetic. I also created a dark mode. So if you prefer um, websites in dark mode, it's got that. Um, but the main feature is probably this ability to save sound packs for different games and game jams. So you can have these different sound packs. You can say, let's create a new sound pack called Seven Day Roguelike 2023. And then you can go into, into that, and I've got no sounds here yet, but I'll say create a new sound, create a power up sound, save that one to the pack, and that goes into my sound pack here. So now if we create a couple more, a um, couple more sounds, maybe a hit sound uh, for use in our game. And then you can see that we've got these different sounds uh, in the sound pack and different sound packs. So what you can do from here is download a zip file of all of the sounds that you've created. Um, and that will uh, get them onto your computer and you can use them in a game jam, you know, these WAV files, importing them into Godot or Unity or what have you. Um, and that's quite useful because you can keep everything together in one place. Um, the other thing to note is that these sound packs are synced. So wherever you log into the website, whether it's on a mobile device or on a different laptop or whatever, you'll have access to the sounds that you've created previously. Um, yeah. And so finally, yeah, the next feature would be undo. So, um, I created the ability to, if you. One of the frustrating things in the free version is sometimes when you uh, create a sound and you're like modifying it a bit and uh, changing it around, you then lose the previous sound that you created. But in uh, JSFX Pro, you can undo that. So you, you can go back to this previous version of the sound that you created. And um, yeah, uh, of course, redo as well. So go to the, to the new version that you made. So the final thing to note about JSFX Pro is uh, it's I don't collect any personal data. So when you sign up, the only thing I collect is your email so that I can log you in. Uh, I don't and everything else is completely private. There's no ads or trackers built in. I don't use Google Analytics or anything like that. So the site uh, won't track you in any way. And finally, um, yeah, on your account page, you can uh, manage your subscription and it's possible to pause your subscription. So you can use it as you like for game jams, but then if you're taking a hiatus from game dev or something like that, you can pause your subscription. All of your uh, files will stay on the server. And uh, when you come back again later and re-enable your subscription, you'll be able to uh, add new ones, etc. So yeah, that's uh, that's the current state of um, JSFX Pro and I'm working on new features as we speak. So um, do check in and see what, what uh, new stuff I've added. Um, yeah, but have fun using it. Thanks very much for watching.